A rock on Taitung Sanyuan Beach is associated with the legends of two indigenous groups, the Amis and the Buyuma. Recently, the two groups are disputing over whether a monument should be erected to honor the rock. Let's listen to the stories. On Sanyuan Beach sits a giant triangular rock, which is associated with the legends of two indigenous groups, the Amis and the Buyuma. It is called the Kite Rock, which is the rock their ancestors used to escape from another tribe's captivity. Both the Amis and the Buyuma have similar stories. However, it is uncertain which one is the original one. Yeah, Gatibu community's legion is about three siblings, two boys and one girl, who were heading to Biuma community to visit their grandmother. When they were passing through Fuyuan Mountain, the younger brother was caught by the Amis for stealing sugar cane out of hunger. The elder brother later set off a kite to save him. The siblings then stay away from their own people and the Amis, and later build a meeting house in the mountain. This rock in dispute was the one that the elder brother tied the kite on in the legion. Taidong's Amis people have a similar story, but the other way around. The Amis say it was Amis brothers who stole sugarcane in the Buyuma territory and captured by the Buyuma people. The dispute goes on as the Amis and Buyuma offsprings are carrying out the practice and trying to define their territory. The Buyuma people used to hold worshiping ceremonies on the Shanyuan beach. Now the Amis are planning to encircle the area and erect a monument in honor of the life-saving rock. But the Buyuma people rejected the idea. The plan to erect monument was eventually dropped. Instead, both sides agreed to just place a mobile tablet, which inscribed with two versions of the legend. We hope that through this way we can ease the argument. Secondly, after we are done, we want the Puyoma people to come and negotiate with us. After negotiations, we can write down their version on the monument, and our version will also be written down. Erecting monuments is a symbolic way to declare sovereignty. If two groups have a shared memory, they should discuss and work together to pass down the precious memory. Some scholars say building tablets or monuments would draw criticism over their impact on the environment. They suggested the two groups to apply to the authorities have the rock site listed as a cultural heritage so it can be well preserved. TITV Weekly.